So after a very good day one in Belgrade for the home side with world number two Novak Djokovic involved, Spain knew it was win or bust and Pablo Crena Booster was a late replacement to partner Mark Lopez. So it was good news for Lopez and Crena Booster, the highest ranked of the Spanish players. But they closed out the first set 6-4 to get themselves on the board and to keep themselves in the tie. Third game of the second set, a lovely touch here you're going to see from Viktor Troitsky, who had come through and won his singles match, playing his second match in two days. Great touch and feel from the volley at the net. Had a slightly shaky start, his partner and captain, 40-year-old Nenad Zimenich, but he seemed to have warmed up by the second set. He's got so much experience when it comes to playing on a doubles court, and he used all that experience to finish off the point. Help out his partner. Too good for Pablo Carrera Booster to get to. Into the tie break we went, and it chopped and changed a few times between the two pairings. Mark Lopez, known for his doubles prowess, a grand slam on it, and then on of it, just slamming that ball away, making sure it didn't come back. Well, it was game in the second set to the Serbs. Story of the third set was three breaks of the Spaniard serve before Viktor Troitsky closed it out after just 29 minutes, and that was all we can really say about that. Fourth set, the momentum shifted again until finally Spain got the break. Got them to a position when they were serving to take them into the side. Remember, they needed to win this tie to keep the tie alive and to keep the quarter final going and try as they might. The Serbians couldn't keep the ball and we were going to a decider. And it's the perfect start though for the home side, breaking the Carreno Booster serve. Exactly what they needed to start things off. Delighted Victor Troitsky. And it's fair to say from then on they did not look back. And it was up to Viktor Troitsky to smash the ball away from the win. He turned to his partner and his captain. That means that Serbia secured a trip to France, the semi-final, the first semi-final since 2013, a repeat of the 2010 final. It's been a good couple of days, three matches, three wins.